Hi, this is Ushio and welcome back to Sunset Hills. In the last part, we started our exploration of this little small town. We're a guy, we're a writer, and we're going to go and try and meet up with an old friend. We used to spend time in the army together. But now we just arrived in town. We don't really know what was going on. We want to get to the hotel. Apparently our friend owns a very posh hotel. And we want to work out how we can get there. But there was a, a car accident. The road's blocked. We have to get around here somewhere. So I'm just kind of randomly exploring and seeing what's going on. What is this? There's an owner's mailbox with the owner's last name, Benini, written on it. Okay. Can we knock on the door? No one here. Okay. So it's, it's a big old town. Lots of corners and places that we can explore. Don't trample the flowers. Oh, pigeon. Pigeon scared me. So there's a couple areas we haven't explored. We have done some puzzles. We found a guy who... Uh, lost his spanner. We helped him get his spanner back. We also, there was a, a fruit seller and we helped him get his delivery in as well. Ah, oh, so yeah, we've done a bit of a circuit now. We've done a bit of a circuit. What is this? Okay. There's a, a circuit box that's locked with a, a danger sign on it. So obviously at some point, as soon as I get a key, I'm going to try and bust into that thing. That's where I want to go and that's what I want to do. So, locks mean nothing to a little dude like me. I'm going to break into everywhere that I can. So let's go through town. So if I look at the map, we have got a magnet tied to a piece of string. We can reach stuff. Here, here is our map, yes. We're currently here. We've got one puzzle. We've got to try and sort something out in Freedom Avenue. And something in Leib Street, which I think we need to unlock the door. So let's go back. So these guys are having a, a problem. This is the car accident. Oh, look up there. Let's talk about this. Hey, Nico, do you want to sit down and have a cup of tea together? So these are kind of like a Sherlock and Watson kind of combo. So let's talk about their case. So they got a case that they're doing about the lady. I want to get to the hotel. And also just behind them, there was the car crash. So yeah, we got some investigation that we can do. Let's talk about their case first. Who are you after? I'm curious about who she is. Could you tell me? Maybe I could even give you a clue. She's a wolfhound, greyish white coat, about 50 years old. So who commissioned this? I don't know. An anonymous person commissioned us through Sherlock's brother, Mike. Hmm. Hmm, what? you turn it down if you could. You just said yes because you were curious. You didn't even discuss it with me first. Okay, but the hotel. This is where we want to get to. Tell us about the Kirk Grand Hotel. Are you talking about the hotel on the island in town? It's a pretty fancy place. It's owned by the Kurt family a hundred years ago. Kurt the first made his fortune selling oriental porcelain and silk. A great deal of money was given to the king to finance. After the war, the king gave Kurt the first a fiefdom, which is now called Topic. So Topic is the name of the town that we're in. In the time of Kurt the Third, with the development of industry, he stumbled upon a new business opportunity. He built the largest hotel in the country at the time, which attracted many famous celebrities. Nowadays, the hotel has become a symbol of the Kurt family. It has also made the Kurt family a major player in the country. You know too much. I've been wondering who that anonymous person is since I accepted this commission. Oh, you mean the client could be a Kurt? You can count in one hand the number of people who could afford Mike's help. All the clues are pointing here, and that's about as close as it gets. Well, that said, Nico, why are you asking about the Kirk Grand Hotel for? I'm here to see an old friend. Oh, is this old friend a member of the Kirk family? It wouldn't be the master of the family nowadays, would it? You know? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> really? Doug Kurt? You and Doug were both in the war. You were comrades. Yes, we were comrades in a squad. And you guessed that. I'm not guessing, John. Okay. Let's talk about the fruit shop. What's going on behind us? The fruit shop owner got into trouble because of a car accident. The other part is demanding a huge compensation fee which the owner can't afford. Hey, there's more to it than just a car crash, but I'm too busy to worry about it right now. What? There's something else. Yes, you go look for clues about the car accident first. 
It's obvious that everything is clear if you take a look, but you're making them go through all the trouble. Hmm. John, you say something? Oh, nothing. Mr. Grant, here's a hint for you. Look for the short guy's car, and where it was parked originally. What's wrong with his car? Just go look for it. It shouldn't be that far. Okay. Find sets of clues. Okay, tell me about the clue. No, no clues yet. You'll find it. I'm sure you will, if you take a closer look at the owner and his car. Okay. So let's have a look at the owner. What's going on? So they're having a big old argument. So let's investigate. Do you have something urgent? Why? Why are you asking like that? You crashed a parked lorry across the street, and it looks like you didn't slow down for the turn. Yeah, it was an emergency. So what? Nothing. I'm just curious as to where you were going in such a hurry. What's it to you? I'm busy. Do you know who I am? I'm an aristocrat. Of course I'm busy. An aristocrat? I thought all aristocrats were chauffeur driven. I like to drive by myself. Is that not allowed? Oh, don't get agitated, sir. I was just saying. Oh, I see. You must have been in a hurry to go out right. Otherwise, why would a noble gentleman not be wearing a hat? Who says a nobleman has to wear a hat? Tell that man to pay up quickly and don't waste my time. Wait, so that's our first clue. So, hang on. Has he stolen the car? <laughs> that's my... That's my presumption. Let's talk about this. Hey, let's have a cup of tea. No, about your clue though. Did you find something? First clue, there we go. I talked to the car owner and he got a bit confused. He claimed to be a nobleman, but I got the feeling that he wasn't. Here's what he said. Yeah, your suspicions might be right. Okay, so I'm onto something. So... How do I find out more? There's got to be more. We can look at the car. Okay. I, yeah, I think he's stolen the car. Because look, why would the side window be smashed in? Let's have a look. There's a hole in the window of the blue car. But there's no broken glass on the ground. Which means it's smashed elsewhere. What else can we check? No. Is that it? Is that the only thing we can check? So this one at the back, this is our friend's car. He's the fruit seller. He gave us a ride into town. Investigate the odour of the car. You. I'm not going to answer any more of your questions. Tell that man to pay up and stop wasting my time. Damn it. What about the policeman? Can you help? Anything else? Well, I'd just like the roads to be clear again soon. Let me just settle this dispute between these two. Really, I think they're both to blame. I'm not sure that's quite true. we got to find out the truth. But what is the truth? This way, I think, is the back alley. So this was blocked before, but now we can go through. Hey, how you doing? Thanks. It's a piece of cake. I'll have to overhaul the meter box in the back alley, though. You can fix anything, sir. It's amazing. Yeah, you flatter me. If I were that good, I wouldn't be stuck with this meter box all the time. I changed a new fuse last week. I hope it can last for a while. You're really working hard. It's no big deal. After all, I'm the star of Tobik. If there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. I need to go repair the electrical box by the lake. Cool, goodbye. Oh, I know where that is. That's where we were looking earlier. It was all locked up. But this one is open. Which means I can probably mess around with it. What do I want to do? The meter box in the back alley is now working fine, but I don't know when it's going to go wrong. So, for the minute, everything is fine. I don't need to worry about it. What is this? The walls are covered in graffiti. The slogans of protesting the war from years ago are still visible. Are we not having a flashback? Because obviously a, a big experience like that's not going to be good. July 5th, 794, Eggtown Public University. In Nico's house. Oh, he got, he got the call up. He got sent. He got sent to war.
Well, it's something that happened in the past. And look at that smile now. Look at that smile now. Got a brave face for it. Not quite sure how I can solve the mystery of that, uh... Oh, maybe we can solve the car crash from this side. Any clues from this side? Oh, I just went through a different kind of way. Hello. Oh, are you from the island, sir? Yes. Then I can get to the island by taking the boat there, right? Yes. But I don't see a ticket window here. This is a private dock, not open to the public. This... I have something else to do, excuse me. Oh, okay. I am the guest. I'm legit. But I guess that's that guy who's going to get us to the hotel. So the hotel is ultimately where we want to get to. But I don't think it's going to be that easy, is it? Hello, sir. Hey, is this the boat to the island? Yeah, it's the passenger boat of Kirk Grand Hotel. Hey, that's right. But if you can't buy a ticket to get on the boat, then... Could you give me a lift? I'm going to the island too. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I can't decide. There are no more guests needing transport today. It's Mr. Butler having something to do that caused me to come over here again. Otherwise, I'd probably be lying in my room watching a film right about now. Oh, could I ask uh, Mr. Butler for help, yeah? Where is he now? I should still be able to catch up with him. I don't think he's going to say yes, but you can try if you want. He's going to Benini's Bakery. Thanks, man. Okay, so the bakery is where they make the rainbow bread. What is this? Oh, it's a clue. We have got... Yeah, broken glass from the car. And we have got... Obvious ruts in the ground. It's quite new. The car must have been driven through here not long ago. So that's our third set of clues. We need to get our second set of clues still. What is this? A hat. Ah. It's another clue, some grey hairs on this. Okay, so this is where the thing with the car happened. Here's a nice car. Oh, was there was there something to grab there? I thought I thought my mouse went. I thought there was something to check. Maybe not. All these boats, fire hydrants. Don't pee up it. Resist. I know you're a doggy. Resist, pigeons. Okay, so what is this? A war memorial, I'm assuming. Statue donated by the Kurt family to honour the soldiers and fellow citizens sacrificed in the war. We're going to have a another thought, aren't we? May 28th, 796. That's two years later. South. Oh, I didn't see that. But we're in the trenches. Is he giving out rations to the soldiers in the trenches? Here you go, snacks for you. My guy got an injury, lost a bit of an ear there by the looks of it. Hey man, you want a snack? There you go. And that's us. Oh no. No response. No response. That's it. Have your food. You got a couple of friends around you. It's a rough time. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a good time. But the time has moved on. It's, I don't know, it's, it's a tricky subject, and it's one I don't think I'm very qualified to actually engage with, because I've not, I've not had that experience, and I'm not quite sure how I'd respond to that experience either. I don't think people fully appreciate what it entails. I think people kind of write it off a little bit too easily when there's some awful stuff. Anyway, we're getting a bit serious. Let's look at this poster, though. Topic Park is opening a new program this month, the Water Waltz. Fancy boat, boat, suitable for parent-child interactions and couple 
couples who are dating. You can come and try it out. Looks like fun. Can we go? Oh wow. It's the whole circus of stuff. So what's this? The sign of the amusement park is open from 8 till 6. Look at all these signs. Hello? Eh. Uh, could you move aside? Excuse me. Just nudge you with my head. <laughs> huh. What? Letters. What's letters? The sign. The letters. Gone. Looks to me like you're missing a U. I think I know how to solve that. So if I grab this, I think I can do something. Okay, so if I grab this, use it? No. Look, it's right here. Something's missing. I'm pretty sure. Oh, can I take my string back? That's it. Se separate it out? No. A combination of red string and magnets used to get something made of metal. Okay, good. Yes, yes. We've uncoupled them. Good. So now that we've done that, now I can use that on its own. Bam. Got it. There you go. That's what you wanted. Oh, well. Much better now. I was so uncomfortable just now. It was you, cutie, who put back the missing letter. Here's two vouchers. Consider it a thank you gift. Thanks. Okay, I guess we can go into the... the theme park? Whatever this is. Well, we've got all kinds of fun stuff going on today. Wow. But I think I need to come back to this when I'm, I'm fully prepared. I think I need to solve the puzzle of the crime scene first. Let's go get the crime scene. I need proof that the guy who took the stolen car took the stolen car. I need one more piece of evidence and then we got the guy. So over here we found the hat. Was there something else with the hat? Because it's right there. Anything else? Some grey hairs on the hat. Anything else? Oh, there we go. There was a rock tucked inside the hat. That's pretty wild. But we've got our evidence. Let's go confront someone. I'm going to be a big old objection in the face and I'm going to tell them exactly what I think because I think they're they're trying it on I, I think they're trying to do a bad thing and scam someone out of money so let's go back this way and we're gonna who should we talk to I think we'll talk to these guys first I'll tell them what I found I'll tell them my evidence what I got so I have got clues I got everything I've got my second clue the car seems to have been part of the marina originally. I found the tracks on the ground, and there was no broken glass from the car windows on the ground at the scene of the incident, but there was quite a bit of it on the marina side. Broken glass appearing elsewhere, and seems to be the same as my reasoning. What's your reasoning? You'll know when you find all the clues. Okay, I got my third clue. I found a worn hat on the dock, and interestingly, this one had a rock inside. There should still be a bit of grey hair inside, right? How did you know? Sure enough, it's boring. This is too easy. These clues are enough. So what? That guy wasn't the owner of the car. Let's go to the crash site. Oh, he's going to come with us. It's time to uncover the truth about the accident. Here we go, look at him. So restless. Let's solve the crime. Here's my guys. <laughs> what? Getting the new helper to scare me? I'm a distinguished nobleman. If you dare to touch a finger of mine, you'll be finished, you know. I won't be around the bush. The glass on your car window's broken. Window's broken? Nonsense. Of course the window's broken when the car's crashed into like this. But why is the broken glass on the pier when it should be on this spot? What are you talking about? You... What makes you sure that the broken glass at the pier is from my car? That's why I'm so sure. There's also a hat found at the pier, interestingly, with a stone stuffed in it, and there were some scratches on the hat. I suppose the car was originally parked at the pier. There are cars parked on both sides, but only the middle parking place was empty, along with the tyre marks on the ground. 
it should be enough evidence to support my theory. The gentleman stole the car by smashing the window glass with a hat stuffed with stones in order to reduce the noise and avoid being noticed. In order to quickly flee the scene, the car had been speeding, causing it to swerve into a parked truck. Am I right, Mr. Thief? Uh oh. You're spouting nonsense. It's not my hat. I'm not wearing a hat. Then why does this hat have the exact same hairs in it as you do on that head of yours? This, uh... I think the owner of the car is a guest at the Kirkgrand Hotel on the island. Just get them to identify their car and the truth will come out. Do you have anything else to say in your defence? Anything else you have to say, you better save it for the police. Oh, my guy got arrested. You daring lad, how dare you. Stealing right from under my nose? You got quite the nerve. You're a good actor. I almost believed you. Of course you can be easily fooled. Fortunately, there's Mr. Pinkman. Oh, he really lives up to his name. Yeah, you're still the same though. Thank you so much, sir. This reasoning of yours is awesome. Eh, it's nothing worth mentioning. Pretend it is. You obviously love being praised. The case here has been settled. We'll take our leave. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Hey, we solved the case. Good work. What a mess. It turned out to be a thief. I almost fell for his trick. Well, you've helped me out again, even though I'm still late. No one wanted this to happen. Explain it all. He'll understand. Go on. You're right. Got to hurry. The repair shops are almost closed at this hour, right? I'll have to fix the car myself. Well, hopefully you'll be alright. So, the repair stores are almost closed. Okay, so I'll, I'll have to leave him to it for now. But hopefully, once the repair is in, they can get their bread. There's the butler, though. Hello. Sir, you're here to buy bread? Seriously, just get out a little late. And now there's a crowd. I mean, the store's doing really well. It would be wonderful if my book was this popular. But at this rate, it's going to take at least half an hour to get to the cashier. Half an hour? Looks like we'll have to get Master Doug's suit tomorrow. Master Doug? Does this happen to be Master Doug Kurt? Who are you? I'm Doug's friend, Nico Grant. I received a letter from him earlier, and I'm stopping by to pay him a visit. Oh, that's right. I'm Seven, the butler of the Kurt family. So, Mr. Grant, do you have an appointment? Appointment? The Kirk Grand Hotel is only available by appointment. Guests will take a boat to the island, and you can't get to the island without an appointment. This... I just heard from the captain already. I don't have an appointment. But I'm glad I ran into you. Would you mind giving me a lift? Count yourself lucky. Follow me to the pier when the bread is done. It's weird. The queue hasn't moved. How long do we have to wait? I'll go in and check it out for you. Yes, please. Okay, talk about Doug though. I haven't seen Doug for seven years. Time flies. Seven years? You were comrades in the army. Yeah, correct. We were comrades. It's quite rare for me to travel this far, but I did so that I can finally see Doug again. Comrades in the army? Think about it. It can't really be blamed on the fact that no one could find him in the first place. Obviously, he's disgusted by the war. But in order to escape from the family, he had to join the army. Unfortunately, his mother. I also know something about him running away from home. The youthful spirit, always eager and fierce. Of course, it can't all be blamed on the young master. The old master's paranoia and desire to control made many people around him leave. Wow. About the bread, though. Look at this queue. The bread in this shop must be delicious. What kind of bread are you buying? Naturally, it's the most famous rainbow bread. Sweet and savoury. Soft and dewy. I come here every day just to catch the freshness. Every day? You're a big fan of rainbow bread, but how can you eat it every day without getting tired of it? Exactly, but Mrs. Kurt can never get tired of it. Okay. We gotta get that bread, but also, now that we've solved the crime, I think it's time for a little bit of fun. I think we should go and check out the theme park. Play some games, have some fun times. Because where was it? 
Down here. There we go, across the road. I got special tickets. Maybe we can do something. What's what's the plan? What's the game? What have we got? Wanna play? One voucher. Can have you playing all day. And the rewards are generous. Okay, what have we got? Here's my ticket. The rules of the dark carousel are I turn and you throw. Five chances. If the dart hits nine three times, then you win. Throw with confidence. Be bold. Don't hesitate and don't waver. When the time comes, take your shot. Opportunities aren't always there. Game on. Wait, I have to hit the nine. So how, how do I do it? How quick is it? Click. 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 Oh, I've got a... Oh, I... Oh, God. Alright, fine. Okay. Okay. So, if I throw like that... Oh! That was close. That was close. There's a delay to it. But if I get at there... Wow. Got it. So if, you, if I click on the one... Click. There you go. Keep it up. Alright, one more time. Click on the one. Click. Hey, man. What a pity. Scam. Absolute scam. <laughs> Such a shame. No worries. You'll definitely win next time. Hang on. I'll come back to you, buster. I'll sort you out in a minute. Hey, man. What's going on? Want to play a game? It's fun. Sure. What you got? There goes my last ticket. Here are the rules. Use this paper mesh pocket. Fish out fish from the pool and put them into the bucket. If you catch one, you can get a gift voucher. Alright, so let's catch fish. Okay, so I've got this. How do I control this? Oh, da, da, da. Don't wobble. Don't wobble. Don't wobble. Oh, that counts, right? Hey, you're amazing. Got it. This is a gift voucher for you to redeem at Jessica's. I'm guessing that that is Jessica. Yup. Hey sir, if you have an amusement park gift voucher, you can come to me to redeem it. Do you want to redeem goods? Sure. What do you need? Feel free to choose. Oh wow, what have we got? What do I want? I don't know what anything is. There are some books. My book's one of them. Got some badges, brooches. A commemorative coin of Hepburn City, which was redeemed at the amusement park. Which reminds me that my next destination will be Hepburn. Do I want that? I'll take that. We can go to Hepburn. I'll take that. Thank you. Do you need to redeem any other things? Uh, no vouchers, I'm afraid. Okay. Maybe I'll try that in a minute. What else is over here? Hello. Yeah, you want to go boating? Good choice. It's the newest game in our amusement park. If I didn't have a meeting with Doug today, I'd be tempted to try. I'll come and play another time. Too bad. But if you want to play, just go to the gate and buy a boat ticket. Swallow this way. Looks like a, a peaceful kind of place, but the hotel looks pretty, pretty cool. Alright, let's, let's try this guy again. Don't scam me. So, what? What are the rules again? Apart from him cheating. I turn you through five chances. Okay, I gotta hit nine three times. So, okay, so we know to a certain point it's okay. If I click on the one, it will land on the nine, right? Click. Perfect. So, if I click on the one again, it should be fine. Now it gets tricky. So, if I. What do I wanna click on? If I click on the. Nine. How do we do? Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so if I go just after the nine. There. No, that was worse. There, there, there seems to be some kind of variable timing to it. Should I click on the seven? Seven. Okay, so I think I can do that. I think I can do that. I'm going to try it again. I think I can do it. I want to do it. I'm determined. Unless it's completely a fix. <laughs> right, maybe this is the last time I'll try it. Maybe it's the last time I'll try it. 
Okay, so wait for the one. Click. See, it's perfect. It's perfect. So I think this time, do I just click on the nine? Oh, no. Is it the same each time? I could hit the, the bit in the middle. Click. How's that? That's even closer. All right, so where do I click it before? No, I th is it a scam? Is it a scam? I'm not playing anymore. No, no, you've upset me. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Sorry, man. Yo, how you doing? You know your friend's a scam artist. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, tell me about the amusement park. Would you like to play fun games and win great prizes? Well, you can find all that here at Topic Park. Why do I feel less interested after hearing your recommendation? Rude. Did you sell all the tickets here? Oh yeah, want to give it a try? Our latest attraction, Walter Waltz, is super fun. There's one more ticket left. Would you like it? No thanks. I've got other things to attend to today. Maybe next time. But I think that's going to have to do for now. This is the show signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.